In this video, you will learn what is reverse mentoring and how companies are benefiting from reverse mentoring. It produced an inversion of expertise because we had so many changes at the lower levels in technology, tactics, and whatnot, that suddenly the things we grew up doing weren't what the force was doing anymore. So how does a leader stay credible and legitimate when you haven't done what the people you're leading are doing? It's a brand new leadership challenge and it has forced me to become a lot more transparent and a lot more willing to listen and a lot more willing to be reverse mentored. Retired four-star general Stanley McChrystal made this bold statement in his Learn, Listen, Then Lead TED Talk. Today's exponential times and the rise of millennials forced McChrystal into adopting a new perspective of mentorship, more specifically, reverse mentoring. Reverse mentoring has become a powerful strategy for leaders and organizations to close the generational gap at work and to retain and engage millennials. Millennials place a premium on mentorship, in fact, Millennials intending to stay with their organization for more than five years are twice as likely to have a mentor, 68%, than not, 32%. And over 90% of millennials with mentors describe the quality of advice and the level of interest shown in their development as good. Having a company culture of mentorship will promote millennial loyalty and as we'll see, reverse mentoring will engage millennial talent. So what is reverse mentoring? Reverse mentoring is a learning relationship where their mentor is younger than the mentee. Seniors, executives, or veteran employees are paired with the younger employees who then share their insights and perspective on various topics such as technology, social media, leadership, workplace trends, and more. Unlike traditional mentoring in which the mentor is always a senior individual who can pass on experience without much risk of pushback from the mentee, reverse mentoring provides an environment where information and insight can freely flow and where the organizational hierarchy is flattened. Each generation brings with them strengths shaped by their unique circumstances. Today's younger generations carry a very unique and high demand skill set and knowledge that has not been possessed by previous generations at that age. In fact, 68% of hiring managers agree that millennials have skill sets that previous generations don't have. Millennials are familiar and comfortable with reverse mentoring because they grew up doing it. Millennials were the household chief technology officer, where they helped mom and dad troubleshoot computers, set up Facebook, and embrace texting. Who uses reverse mentoring? Jack Welch, while CEO at GE, was credited with being one of the first adopters of reverse mentoring. Welch selected a junior employee to mentor him and then encouraged 500 other organizational leaders to find a reverse mentor. Since then, other companies including HP, The Hartford, Power Home Remodeling, which is a Fortune Top 10 of the 100 Best Workplaces for Millennials, PayPal, Cisco, and Coca-Cola have initiated reverse mentoring programs. According to Thomas Kalopoulos and Dan Kelson, author of The Gen Z Effect, The Six Forces Shaping the Future of Business, mentoring is used in 56% of a 600 company sample polled by Delpha Group. Yet of those 600 companies, only 14% had a reverse mentoring program in place, even though 51% of those companies have cross-generational teams. Reverse mentoring is underutilized and isn't widely used because leaders are unaware of the benefits, already engaged in peer-to-peer -peer mentoring, pressure to focus on tasks with clear ROI, lacking time, and too prideful. Yet reverse mentoring is becoming increasingly important to consider as more and more millennials and Generation Z pour into the workplace. Here are some examples of reverse mentoring. Burberry, Angela R. Rents, the former CEO of the English fashion company, saw an opportunity to leverage the unique and modern approach millennials take to problem solving. She created a strategic innovation council where millennials came together once a month to innovate Burberry's future by collaborating with Burberry's leadership. Another example is Target, the second largest discount retailer in the US, recently partnered with Techstars, a group that teams up tech startups with large corporations to teach their leaders how startup employees, many of which are millennials, work in a fast-paced environment and scrappily to get things done. This practice has also helped diminish the negative stereotypes that can plague millennial employees within their companies. Another example is Sylvania, the small European country, is using reverse mentoring to combat ageism. 
The Symboiza project was created with the goal to improve e-literacy in seniors by young people volunteering to teach computer skills. The project put technology into the hands of older adults, but also instilled social responsibility into millennials, thereby giving hope to both age cohorts. The project has been a massive success in bridging the country's generational gaps. Thanks for watching. I hope this content was insightful and useful. As a top ranked millennial and Generation Z speaker and an Inc.com columnist, I help organizations lead, engage, and sell to the emerging generations, as well as helping them leverage today's workplace trends. If you'd like to have me speak to your organization or at your association, click the link in the description to begin that conversation. Also, if you'd like to learn more strategies and insights like the ones shared in this video, click the link in the description to grab your copy of my latest book, The Millennial Manual, The Complete How-To Guide to Manage, Develop, and Engage Millennials at work. And lastly, click subscribe to ensure you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again and bye for now.